Hello friends, myself Dr. Lav Krishnapal Singh Ratho, Assistant Professor, Shalya Tantra. Today we are going to discuss about PNS, Pylonidal Sinus. Pylonidal means nest of the hair. Derived from the Latin word for hair, pilus and nest, nidus. Pylonidal disease, range of pylonidal disease. Ranging from asymptomatic hair containing cysts and sinuses to large symptomatic abscess of the sacrococcygeal region that have some tendency to recur including pylonidal abscess, sinus, cyst and fistula. Pylonidal sinus Definition Infection of the skin and subcutaneous tissue at or near the upper part of the natal cleft of the buttocks. See in picture the pylonidal sinus, the pit is present in midline and, the, and then it can cause pylonidal abscess. Both are shown in pictures. Epidemiology is typically in the late teens to early 20s, decreasing after age 25 and rarely occurs after age 40. Average age of presentation 21 years male and 19 years female. Pathophysiology same as for acne vulgaris, hydradenitis, suppurativa. Sex hormones affect the pilosebaceous glands after onset of puberty. Hair follicle become distended with keratin, resulting in folliculitis leading to edema and follicle occlusion, infected follicle extend and ruptures into the subcutaneous tissue forming a pylonidal abscess, resulting in a sinus tract leading to a deep subcutaneous cavity, direction of the sinus tract is cephalid, coincide with the directional growth of hair follicle, places the tracking follicle approximately 5 to 8 cm from the anus. In the rare instance that the sinus is located caudally, it is usually found 4 to 5 cm from the anus. The laterally communicating sinus overlying the sacrum is created as the pylonidal abscess spontaneously drains to the skin surface. The original sinus tract from the natal cleft becomes an epithelialized tube. The laterally draining tract becomes a granulating sinus tract opening. This is the pathophysiology which shows the first mechanism. Buttock in friction plus shearing forces in natal cleft allows a shed hair or broken hairs collected in natal cleft to drill through midline skin. Second mechanism, infection in relation to hair follicle, suction created by buttocks movement, it allows hair to enter skin. Patho main pathophysiology, both mentioned mechanism create a subcutaneous chronically infected midline tract, this is a primary sinus. Secondary tracts may spread laterally from primary sinus, emerge at skin as granulation tissue line discharging openings. What are the risk factors? Overweight, local trauma, irritation, sedentary lifestyle, prolonged sitting, deep natal cleft and family history is also important. Clinical manifestation, patient presentation, acute onset, mild to severe pain, intermittent mucoid purulent bloody discharge, recurrent persisting pain, fever, malaise. Physical examination, one or more pit in the natal cleft, painless sinus opening cephalid and lateral to cleft, tender mass or sinus draining mucoid bloody or purulent fluid. The diagnosis of a pylonidal sinus can be made by identifying the epithelialized follicle opening which can be palpated as an area of deep induration beneath the skin in the sacral region. These tract most commonly run in the cephalid direction. Differential diagnosis. Perianal abscess, perianal fistula, hydradenitis suppurativa, perianal complication of Crohn's disease, skin abscess, furuncle, carbuncle, folliculitis. Treatment Conservative treatment What Indication Patient whose symptoms are relatively minor and without abscess. Natural history of condition is usually one of regression. Cleaning out the track and removal of all hair with regular shaving of area and strict hygiene. Position, jackknife position, prone with buttocks elevated, anesthesia, general or local anesthesia, what is the surgical procedure? Laying open and curating of all track, demonstrated by methylene blue, marsupialization, excision of all track, open method and closed method. In open method, wound left open, secondary intention, healing over 3 to 4 weeks, least recurrence. Closed method, primary closure with or without retention, suturing. Closer by some other means designed to avoid a midline wound, which is Z-plasty, carrier dickis procedure, and Bascom's procedure. This is the picture showing Z-plasty. 
it is the part of plastic surgery which is a very nice procedure to be done karyodecis procedure this procedure result in flattening of the natal cleft with lateral shift of the midline bascom procedure by the bascom procedure focuses on avoiding the midline incision and performing a minimal amount of tissue removal the approach is described as consisting of a lateral incision removal of the hair and excision of the sinus tract with a small incision overlying each sinus this is the picture showing bascom procedure surgical treatment drainage marsupialization excision with primary closure excision with grafting and sinus extraction this is the picture showing marsupialization in the patient of pns post operative care daily pack dressing change after warm bath elimination of hair as effective in preventing recurrence as a secondary surgical procedure follow up after 1 2 weeks examine the wound for healing assess for potential recurrence arrange for definitive care of the sacrococcygeal region if necessary recurrent pilonidal sinus etiology part of sinus complex overlooked at primary operation new hairs enter the skin or the scar persistence of a midline wound caused by shearing force and scarring revisional surgery including extensive resection reexcision followed by wound closure and obliteration of natal cleft either by limburg flak which is also also called as rhomboidoplasty this is a very beautiful procedure and vv gluteal advancement flap complication recurrence of the abscess most common complication is the abscess formation wound infection leading to sacral osteomyelitis necrotizing fasciitis and a rarely meningitis SCC in uh, chronic pilonidal disease this is squamous cell carcinoma exceeding rarely requires en bloc surgical resection